Well, lung cancer is typically associated with smoking, but up to 40,000 cases every year involve people who have never picked up a cigarette. In today's HealthCast, we look at the factors contributing to that disease in non-smokers. 64-year-old Stacy Schmid is one of those people who has done everything right. She exercises, she eats healthy, and she's never had a major illness. I have a lot of energy, I always did. Then, a few months ago, Stacy began to have severe shortness of breath while she was training for a charity race. I had a, had a lingering cough for several months before that, and I just attributed it to, you know, we have five grandkids, you know, somebody's always got a cold. I knew the allergy, uh, allergies were high, and I thought perhaps that was that, so I just kept dismissing it. She was stunned when a trip to the doctor revealed she had stage four diffuse lung cancer. It, and it did blow me away. It, it, I think it was so shocking, shocking to me. Dr. Mahir Nayak, a radiation oncologist with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says lung cancer in non-smokers often begins in the outer areas of the lung, but can go undetected until it's advanced. There's a role for screening for lung cancer, but it's primarily been in a uh, heavily smoking population and not in a non-smoking pop population. And it's the non-smoking population where, where we're seeing an increase in the incidence of lung cancer. The doctor says 20% of women and 10% of men who have no prior smoking history do develop lung cancer. The biggest difference is that we are seeing different genetic drivers and different genetic alterations in basically non-smokers who develop lung cancers. Um, what there's, there are positives to that, which means we have better treatments and targeted treatments for non-smokers. Stacy remains optimistic in her fight against cancer, drawing support from her family, her physicians, and her faith. So the three of us are working together to, to try to battle and beat this. Wish Stacey the very, very best. And now, according to the National Cancer Institute, lung cancer is the second most common cancer, but it is also the leading cause of cancer death.